Good evening. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm live from England, from Gloucester, and it's lovely to be here today. And uh, today's topic is about smartphone addiction. So what do you think of smartphone addiction? Um, I'm looking forward to hearing all about your days and your opinions. Uh, but let's start off first with Arj. Arj, we haven't seen you for a while. How are you? Yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm fine. Excellent. So, Irish, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yes, sir. my name is Arush Kumar. I study in class 5. My school name is Delhi Public School, Mega City, Kolkata. And my favorite hobbies are playing, singing, and dancing. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, Arush, what did you do with your day today? Yes, ma'am. Today, first I wake up. But I woke up in the morning at six o'clock for my school. Then I went to school. Then I came back at four o'clock. And I joined six thirty to seven thirty online classes. I'm joining your class now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so Arush, what do you think of smartphone addiction? Uh yes, ma'am. Smartphone addiction is a disorder involving compulsive overuse of the mobile devices. Mm-hmm. And okay. usually quantified as the number of times users access their devices and or the total amount of time they are online. Okay. And um, what um, what do you what, what do you feel uh, about your interaction with your smartphone? What do you feel that is? Uh yes, ma'am, I play some online games. Uh but uh, <laughs> I want to play online games, so I need to use the internet. But I am not. Uh, so I also do a lot of projects by my phone only, and I'm not that much addicted. Uh, like in in a day, I watch at least three to four hours. Like not okay. at once, like fifteen, sixteen, twenty, like these, like these minutes. Twenty, okay. twenty to thirty minutes, in the day. Okay, and how do how do your parents do? Your, do you set times for yourself, or the, or or does your mum or dad do this for you? Uh, like I can watch any time, but uh, I have a time limit, fifteen to twenty minutes, or I want to see till half an hour. So, it it becomes slowly in the whole day. I watch at least five hours, mm -hmm. but not at once only. At times, at several times. Okay. But especially I am in school, so uh, tomorrow is a weekend. So, yes, tomorrow it will be a five hour. Okay. And I was, so tomorrow I will also make a video on river. I, I was just researching our river uh, when this class didn't start. Because I like, uh, like, I found the longest river. <laughs> It was good, Amazon River, but more than Amazon River, it was Nile River, which is in South Africa. So I was watching these things only on, on my laptop. Mm -hmm. I was searching about these, and whenever I was getting ideas, I just went on Google Earth and searching. I was getting these. So I wanted to see that how many are, there are longest lakes and rivers in the world. So I got mm -hmm. it. Uh, Lake also Caspian Sea, but I was shocked when I saw this on Google Earth because we can see also from a bit far, like we can also see from the space. Okay, this was very interesting for me. Excellent, exactly. So, at least it was a, a very interactive and educational thing as well. Yes, for you. because sometimes. Arush? Arush? Hello? Arush? Yes? Yes, ma'am, can you hear me? Yes? I can hear you now. Yes. So I was just researching all these. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And next. We have Aksha. Hi, Aksha. 
Good evening, ma'am. So myself, Aksha, I'm coming from Kerala and currently pursuing my MBA. And today I had exam and I was busy with that till um, two I had my classes. And after exam, a crazy thing happened today. A cat followed me and I sat down. It just came onto me and sit on my lap and me and that cat played for an hour. <laughs> So I felt good after that. After that, I came to came back to room and now I joined the class. That's about my day to do. And uh, about the question, so phone addiction, I think, yeah, I am addicted. I was addicted more before, but nowadays I have kept a reminder. Whenever I take the phone, I keep a reminder. After 10 minutes or 20 minutes, it just vibrates. So I have keep the timer for not to be addictive towards the phone. So yeah, but even though the study materials and things are in my phone, so I have to use my phone. Mostly it will be like 10 hours a day when I see. So I frequently use my phone. So I think yeah, I am addicted to it and I want to decrease that addiction with my phone. And yeah, I always hear from my mom that just come out of it, do talk with others and do involve. And nowadays, my mom say come out of the phone and watch TV. It is a little bigger screen, your eyes will be okay. And my voice echoing. Oh, no, I can hear you. I can hear you. So, yeah, I am addicted to phone. Actually, and okay. I see my friends also, even when we are talking like five, six members, every other five minutes, we will look up for. There will be some notifications or some messages or anything. Like everyone will be, after 20 minutes, everyone will be looking into their phones. So, yeah, nowadays we friends also say keep phone away when we are around. So, yeah, so we all are trying to come out of the phone nowadays. How do you think it affects you? Actually, we become like we talk to people in online, but not face to face. Like when someone talks to us face to face, I think in a crowded place, we are not able to handle ourselves nowadays. We are like isolated into a phone. Like we are socially active, but actually we are not that socially active in front of people. If a crowd is there, we are not active that much. I think that we are isolating like our world into a phone, not around us. Okay. Arush, can you mute yourself, please? Um, okay. And Aksha, how do you how do you think you i know you said you're trying to control this how do you think you can do this how do you think you can achieve this like suddenly i can't avoid phone totally but as soon i am reducing my time from like uh, day by day i am decreasing i am engaging myself like out of my phone like not using i am i have already uninstalled my insta that all only whatsapp i have now because whatsapp is mandatory now every official things are coming into whatsapp and uh, yeah like if i needed only i install many apps uh, like my phone's app list has been decreased gradually and yeah i kept reminders i keep and mostly i don't keep my phone near me when I'm sleeping because when I wake up the first thing I will pick is my phone and um, okay. I have seen me spending one hour in phone in morning time and it, it is like time waste for me even like morning time I'm I will I am a morning person I it used to be productive for me when I, I do not use my phone so I used to keep my phone away so if someone is calling for emergency also at night time they might not be able to reach me because phone will be not near me anywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, I am trying myself so that if once uh, the addiction is over, I can use it. So, okay. Yeah. And have you seen any any of your friends as well get out of this addiction to their phone or 
or is it only you that's trying to no. read actually me and my friend together took this decision so <laughs> she is also having that habit so it is somewhat like a new year resolution but before new year we started this in december only we started saying by new year we will reduce the time at least so yeah me and my friends are there many are there and i have seen uh, there is some uh, place in uh, here in india only where you want you submit your phone every electronic items and everything stay there for 10 days mm -hmm. after coming out of that place your addiction will be over so i have seen people going there to uh, not to be so addictive or like that so i have heard about a place like that where you will be not connected with in uh, like disconnected with out of the uh, every world and no contact with any one or any electronic devices for 10 days after coming out you will not have that urge to use that phone so i have heard about it okay yeah. thank you very much aksha yeah. okay let's move on to raj shri kashri hi raj hello everyone Hello, Hello. Hi, Rajshree. Can you please introduce yourself to everyone and tell us a bit about your day? Yeah, I'm Rajshree, Rajshree from Bihar. I'm doing job under the NCW uh, National Commission for Women, and with also with the Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Mumbai. I'm working for the uh, violated women. Uh, violence against women, actually, uh, providing counselling, legal laws, and everything. via uh, dlsa dalsa and the courts and the policing and from everywhere we support providing uh, support and everything to women okay and mm -hmm. a very long time i am here so my day was not very much good because uh, in bihar there is too cold too, the environment is too cold the ic air is actually so we are not feeling good mm -hmm. so the environment is not good that's why the uh, temperature body temperature and the health is not good uh, and uh, the workload is normal because the clients are um, coming not much more they they are in very uh, less amount because um, the environment yeah so and due to covid the government officers and they are providing less uh, they are providing the notices to our office for the less um, people in in their office so that's my day and uh, now okay. on the and topic on for the topic please yeah about the topic addiction of phone yeah addiction of phone is not good so uh, for me um Uh, when i was alone uh, uh, in 2020 yeah i was very much addicted for the very few months because uh, uh, i think 39 days yeah 39 days i was uh, in my room only no one no one come into came into the room and everyone flat and everyone very few members uh, uh, in my um, landlord's home that's why um, i was addicted very much and uh, that time i felt very 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 uh, some health issues uh, menstruation problem and so many problems i faced that time so i noticed for for me um, the the phone addiction is not good for me and the less uh, the sleep problem yeah the sleep mm -hmm. problem that um, creating so much that's why i was using a very less phone and uh, that day and the today i am using very 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 few for the phone uh, using few very few minutes for the for, for my phone if any emergency and anything that that time i used uh, the le uh, the more time like uh, half an hour much more half an hour nothing much nothing more uh, uh, after the half an hour yeah in my home so many people are using the phone so not addiction uh, they are using the phone so nowadays i have no laptop 
that actually the laptop is not working properly the computer is not working properly that's why i am using uh, the phone so the phone is a very important for the smartphone is a very important for everyone not for the uh, every not every time wasting the time and everything uh, but uh, the alarm is uh, here the clock is here um, so many applications are working for uh, our Uh, for uh, talking with someone talking with uh, messaging with uh, someone that is very 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 easy for the everyone because uh, if uh, see you are in england and we are in india yeah but we see each other we talk with each other we chat with each other so that is is very easy for us na so the smartphone is good and the smartphone is bad for everyone yeah exactly the doctors, there is the philosopher yeah the doctors and the philosopher everyone says like uh, uh, every every th- have a, everything have a limit na if you are unlimited that is not good for anyone anyone has anyone everything uh, money every timing everything yeah if you are wasting your timing on using smartphone every time making reels and everything so um, for a certain time it's good for us for the entertaining and everything but not for the every time not for the Absolutely. see the very much uh, using the smartphone it uh, its impact on the fertility infertility and the pregnancy problems and using so uh, in my neighborhood one woman was pregnant and uh, using all time using phone 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 smartphones and uh, a very um, after the 7 uh, uh, months yeah the delivery del- delivery date is the next one after the one one or two months but i don't know what the problem creating on on her health and everything i don't know so the doctor uh, prescribed for the operation and everything so that is not good for everyone because people using the smartphones uh, it is very 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 much uh, risk for your health yeah Okay, very good. Thank yeah. you very much Thank for you. that, Rashree. Thank you, Christine. Uh, next we have Lijol. Lijol, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? And then you can move on to today's question. Hey, uh, hello, everyone. I'm Lijol Mahapatra. I'm currently pursuing my MBA from Ikhfai Business School, Hyderabad. And uh, I am basically born in Pratham in Odisha. And about my day, it was pretty hectic. I, I had... an event to anchor and uh, i had to host an event for that and then after that i also had my exams so just signing off my event i ran towards the exam and then uh, i had some other works with the as uh, our annual fest is going on and uh, i'm the sponsorship head so there are a few food stalls i had to take in care of and some other work i just got back to do but tired and coming to the question of the day uh, phone addiction uh, i feel we sometimes do not uh, realize that we are addicted to the phones and uh, it is mo- more of a subconscious thing like uh, when you are sitting in a film, like uh, normally when you are sitting around people and you see everyone uh, with their phone you do not have a choice sometimes but you still keep staring at your phone like doesn't matter it has something worth it or not i was actually um kind of addicted to it during the lockdown period because i had nothing to do i was in the home there was no more, not much of an entertainment source for that but um, later on i came to understand one thing ki if i am getting you know spending a bit more screen time then i should mm-hmm. make that screen time efficient for myself by looking into stuff that would be really helpful for me and my general knowledge as well so i started following pages and uh, accounts that would you know keep me updated with the world current affairs and everything that even the music i'm at least watching good stuff that would increase my iq and uh, actually coming here for the mba after like the covid i do not get much time to see the phone mba is pretty hectic it drains out your energy and then you ultimately come to the room to just sleep just sit on the phone for once you do not want the messages to be pinged line once you do not want any calls or messages to pick up and uh, you just want to go to the bed phone addiction i know it is difficult to reduce it but i the, i personally suggest someone ki if you are trying to do it do not do it at once ki you are using the phone to like today and then you are not, not 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 even touching your social media at the next day it is very much uh, 
you know it is exactly like alcohol one day you're drinking like uh, you know you, you are an alcoholic person and then the next day you leave it it won't get into your system your brain does not know how to function that way so even though you're spending a little bit more screen time be careful of what you're watching what you are doing at least that should add some value rather than just scrolling down the reels and tiktok for something that is more fruitful that's it thank you okay excellent thank you very much okay next we'll move on to pulomi shatterji pulomi yes hi hi christine Hello. can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day and then you can move on to today's question yes uh, my name is pulomi shatterji and i'm currently doing my mba from ikfa hyderabad and my day was pretty good but i had an exam today in the evening which went well according to me i guess and uh, coming back to today's topic is uh, that phone addiction using phone is good or not addiction of phone uh, firstly like addiction of phone is literally not good because it uh, hampers a lot of tasks and issues pending works it keep, because once we get addicted to phone we keep on engaging on that thing only and we lose track of our time and things which are listed below and but on the other hand if we go and see it makes our life much more easier for an example um, we do not need to carry our purse because we have online transactions we can easily connect with our friends anywhere and um, social media helps to keep a track of people <clears throat> which we might not have been seen for the last 5 to 6 years for the lost mm -hmm. friends and also to gain knowledge on certain topics like if we are studying something we can do it in laptop as well as in phone too but phone is a handy thing we cannot carry our laptops or ipads everywhere we go so phone is a very handy thing it is necessary as well as it becomes a burden also it reduces our time of work because uh, for me what happens generally when i sit back to study or if i have to do something once i open any of the social media or any of the things like in my mobile phone i literally lose one and a half hour which is really bad so i regret it after that but uh, sometimes we are like we are bound to do it because it becomes our practice i am trying to reduce it but uh, still i am on the way to reduce it i have not stopped doing it yet so it's a two phase thing it's bad also it's good also so uh, we need to look into the good matter and uh, we need to lessen our bad things yeah okay excellent very good thank you very much pulomi thank you christine okay last but not least we have sangram hi sangram Hello, ma'am. Hi, Sangram. Sangram, can you please introduce yourself? Tell us a bit about uh, your day, and then move uh, on to myself. The yes, ma'am. Myself, Sangram, uh, living in Mumbai, working as an HR recruiter, completing my graduation and post-graduation also. And now I am currently pursuing my post-graduation diploma in HR, side by side with working. And today's question is like uh, smartphone addiction. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Thinking about yes. uh, smartphone addiction, I think that. Yes. So, what what do uh, you think of it? Okay, it's like uh, I can say that it is bad for our health. The first and foremost uh, thing is the brightness or the screen time. Like mm -hmm. if you use it continuously, uh, continuously daily, then uh, your eyesight may be an issue. Your know, eyes issue would be there, and while using the phone. You keep your earphones also in the ear. So while traveling, also when someone is trying to call you, or if anyone is in line or in the queue, trying to move forward, you don't listen. Also, like you are in your own mood. So we don't just uh, see the surrounding area. Also, sometimes the surroundings. Okay, so so And how do you? It is like uh, wasting time. Like uh, most of the now now children like. They are playing PUBG games and all the social media stuff. They are doing because they are uh, in uh, they are affecting their own education also. 
So education is also is at risk of students. Okay. Because more time is in playing than studying. And also in COVID situation, there were online lectures. So in that time also, they used to own the session and just play the games or do any other thing. And when the teacher used to ask anything, uh, they don't do to, they do not respond or do not correct. That is okay. also important for students like in general. Okay. And uh, can I ask, how, what about your relationship with your smartphone? So I use the uh, smartphone just for watching anyways. That's it. And that's it. And what so would yes, you... Yes, well, like in a whole day, uh, as I'm in the HR department, so I used to call. So whole day, I do the recruitment thing. So always the phone is with me. And I always do the calling thing. So we don't get time in the office, like from morning to evening till 6. After 6, as I leave from the office, then when I get in the bus, I use my phone or social media for a bit of a time, like till the time I get down. Then after I reach home, I watch my anime and go to sleep. As usual, the normal schedule for me. So, while I am traveling anywhere, so I use my social media and anything. So, the time get consumed there because there's a lot of traffic uh, when I leave from my office. And it takes like two to three hours to reach home. So, that time I use it. Only that much time. After that, I come home. Like sometimes when I reach home by right night, and so I just eat and sleep. Do nothing else. And when I'm do, doing my like education stuff, then I would use my laptop to do the stuff. If I use my phone, then I would like my mind used to be, my, my mind would get diverted. So that's why I always use my paper my system to do my work. So I always use the system as an IT guy. Okay. So and the system, uh... I don't have any social media also, game also. Because I don't like all that kind of thing. So I don't get that much. Okay. And what would you suggest to to someone um, to control like if, their uh, addiction? Like if you want to control, then uh, set parental control. Like in phone, we have parental control and also we have option for like uh, uh, kids mode also. Like if you are giving your phone to kids, so you can keep the kids mode on for the time being. If there is timer also you can set in kids mode. So the kid will be using that phone for that specific time also. Parental mode you can keep to keep the controls over the kid what he is watching and all. You can control all the things like what he is watching and what he is doing. And after the specific time is over, you can take the phone from him. Even if he just uh, like speak anything wrong or uh, tell anything like what we can say speak okay. again against like in loud words or anything child. so you can uh, just shut him up like, using the word and scolding the, the kids if they are the phone So okay. keeping your time and an eye on them. Okay. Thank you very much, Sangram. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, next, um, well, that's everyone. Uh, so next we're going to close uh, up. So thank you guys for um, giving me your opinions and thoughts um, about smartphone addiction. It's been lovely hearing about your relationship and what you do um, to keep uh, your, your phone addictions at bay if you have them. Uh, thank you very much for sharing and I hope you have a lovely weekend and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you guys. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. Thank you, Christine. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Christine. Bye. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Bye, ma'am.